Uh, the, the worry I have is that VP Angels have picked this. I hope this is sort of their strength. Uh, and this is kind of where they lie in it. Uh, because otherwise, it's going to be pretty tough. Also, what I will say is NIP are a very good nuke team. And also, I feel like Fearless Cheaters will be learned learning a lot from how that one transpired and i don't think they're going to make the same mistakes that they did in that game tell me it's still got a smile on their face they know they're up to something the scheming continues to your side a tricky mistress looking to be tamed Vilga's dual barrette is poised and ready hey take the time Wrap the destination flash for Crassy off the angle. Gush down as well. She needs to bail. Vilger immediately drops. So drawn rotations down and they're committing. There's no wrap involved here. It's a straight up B hit. Or is it? Yes, it is. Vilger gets the first kill from double doors and a second. They can't deal with her. Eventually they find that frag. Victoria able to slip in. She's at the back of the boxes and she's causing trouble. Found and dealt with. Bomb needs to be recovered and planted. That smoke will be fading momentarily. Crassy on the other side. In for all. Never mind. Wow. Never mind. It felt like she was done for. Just needed one bullet to the shoulder, but it's all left to Ayaka. At least has information. One of these players. Bit of time to work with. Grouping. Someone's going to extend, but this is clever from Shu. She's actually grouped up. With Taddy. They spot Ayaka trying to escape. They know. Oh, never mind. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't get around the corner. I like the idea. I really like the idea. You grab the bomb, try and go A, but it, it's really difficult to kind of get up the slope around the corner before you're revealed, especially as they kind of just had a little bit of a stare off in between the single doors. This is Vilga grabbing the double. Feels like v VP Angel's trade space could be a little bit tighter there. And. It feels like, yet again, you've got Fearless Cheaters just taking the majority of the initiative on these fights, and that is really offsetting VP Angels and the ideas of what they want to do in a lot of these rounds. Uh, and no bomb plant means no money, so they're just going to be on Glocks in, in this one. There's a Zeus, Fyaka. A T-side Zeus is always fun. It's, it's a bit more difficult to enable. But maybe... No. Wow. That finished quickly. Yeah. Heard that before. Uh, that was really quick. A couple of seconds. Vilga gets yeah. the first kill, and then instantaneously, the, the round just ends. And it's like, oh, okay. Well, the Glocks did nothing. And this is, I think, the, the danger for VPN just picking this map, is the one thing you don't want to give Fearless Cheaters is momentum, and you've just given it to them. Fortunately, look, they're on... They're on the guns now. Orbs out for Victoria. Tati's still on an MP9 alongside Shu. The, the buy's better. The buy is better for VP Angels. It's a bit of a weird buy, isn't it, for, for the cheaters? An orb surrounded by bits and bobs. Uh, Ow. Where did, where did that even come from? Is that Marco panic? Like, <laughs> I think Marco emergence. Smoke and shot Mio in the head. Am I, am, is that right? Or did Vilga hit a spam shot? I feel like it was Vilga. I want to give the okay. benefit of the doubt and say that was Vilga. Yeah. My feet kind of started a second when it happened, so I'm not <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, Vilga's very aware that there's a player red, so I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble that it was her. Aki and Aura finds Victoria though. That was the orb, and that's the orb dropped, and Vilga swings wide. Mio punishes. VP yeah, Angels have got two players to the Vilga should have won that. Mio's got no health. That's Kind of wild that she wins that fight out. Mm, shoulda, woulda, didn't. And now Krazy is getting aggressive. And VP Angels are holding for this. And they don't punish at the first instance, but there are players there to trade out. And now That's it's fine. literally just these MP9s. That's just a low HP player. Yeah, these MP9s. Taddy is going to rotate down with Shu by her side, so he'll be in the right place at the right time. But yeah, but Molotov good Mio. and Mio. Hello, Mio. It's another one of those rounds in which I feel like Fearless Cheaters just kind of give over the kills. Like, not the opening, 
where Victoria's fallen with this orb, but the, the Vilga one outside created so much space. Uh, and from there, it felt like the, the CT side had to go looking for a kill back in, and that's why Krazzy goes one for one, and then suddenly you just are remained with, the, with these MP9s. This buy, whilst it isn't all in for Fearless Cheaters, it's not amazing. There's two rifles, one of which is on A. Vilga left completely alone outside with the Deeg. Bam doesn't connect. Yeah, they cannot get a consistent buy on the CT side yet. Two players that have crossed successfully. And send Margo on an adventure. Mia can hold, see if anyone decides to follow. Go back up if she so desires. Victoria finds success with the scout where she didn't with the AWP. What a much more passive line. Maybe angels are expecting, you know, if it's an eco, then you know, maybe some aggressive push. And if it's the half eat or the four, sorry, again, maybe some aggressive push, but it's tag both ways. Victoria has to fall back. Support arrives. Cassie is here with the M4 and has done good damage onto Aki and Aura. But the secret players, they were ready. She Had Victoria it. on her rotate. Victoria tagged Margo. So look, three players are incredibly low and they're crunching on towards ramp. This is still entirely possible for Fearless Cheaters to collect. It gets a lot harder once they're in the retake. And I feel like they might even just call it off. Yeah, you got these two M4s, right? You, you feel like you want to take them into the next round? Plus you got the forced, yeah, the FAMAS. Vilga's the only one where it's not awful if she falls. You know, if she can get an AK, it's actually a huge win. The, the reason why they've done this as well is that there's no util, no kit. But you have the info that Margot's low and you've tagged another one on ramp. So instead, go for exits, maybe. Just send Vilga over here. You've got Tati with the FAMAS. So Vilga's going to be the first point of contact. Good shot. Hoping for more, not finding it. And now Tati's too far removed to step in. That's yeah, fine. So those three players will hold onto their rifles. The other two will likely just keep what they've got. I'd be very surprised if they force around this. And VP Angels, nice response from their two side. They get the guns out and they get going. Ayaka with the AWP early. We, we didn't get to see this at all on Vertigo. I don't think she used the AWP once. So I'm hoping to see a lot more of it on Nuke and, and I expect to. from Crassy. I'm actually really interested in why Fearless Cheaters play Nuke. Because this was always Nine Pandas Fearless's perma. Yeah. It was also, I mean, it was Vilga's perma. For, that for, for, for a while, thing. right? What did, what did they ban? They banned Inferno. That's crazy to me. Well, they haven't got Fatal anymore, and Fatal was their best Inferno player. Yeah, they've not played it at all this year. Yeah, they've just completely changed their veto with the new players. They've decided, it's new time, baby, Inferno's out. Well, Crass is out. Ayaka finds it with the AWP. Low HP can't be collected into a kill. He'll go spam with the USP. Where's Shu in all of this? Top hut. So now she can't get involved either, and the rifles, yet again, will probably just save. Yeah, saving these rifles the best call. I mean, a potential AWP could come into play as well. I think. Maybe. Good start gonna, on the two side. Yeah, bear with me. I'm just going to do some digging. All right, go on. It seemed to me when I dug that they've just completely swapped the veto since Vilgus joined the team. Obviously, Crassy joins too. And, and G2, you know, they were playing a lot of nuke. Yeah, but why would you, again, why would you swap 
four players didn't basically didn't play nuke. Yeah, okay. Bar bar one match against NOP, the perm has always been Inferno. Terrorists win. Yeah, and the, and the one match where they where they didn't ban it, they got destroyed on it, right? Yeah. I guess they're trying to test the waters with the seven map pool, maybe, but no. It, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure either, but what I do know is that they're back on the gun round. BP Angels have won three in a row. This is already looking really good for the T side. This is an absolute punish. And it's up to Phyllis Cheetahs to be able to respond. No all for Victoria. One's out for Ayaka, so she's uncontested. And she's making moves towards the top of Silo. Will she spot Vilga? No, not quite. Blow on the smoke. Does actually a little bit of damage to Margo, but Vilga can't see anything behind it. Ow. Ayaka is looking... For Vilga. Oh, the flashbang actually protects Vilga for a moment. But only for a moment. Ayaka ready for that reposition. This is why I wanted to see her on the AWP. Now the natural response from Fearless Cheetahs having lost that player is to push further forward. Didn't finish the job. Although, find a different player. Straight into Ayaka's scope once more. Good find. And now the main players can activate. Shoo. I don't think it will be detected. Victoria has now been the first point of contact. Mark has just dropped down the vent. So too is Ayaka. They're all going down there. Wait. Oh. oh That's wild. Oh, my God. Oh, how on earth did she get down the vent? That got scary. I think it's fine now, despite everyone being low HP. Yeah. Victoria has no utility to do anything here. I was worried for a second that her head was going to be just sticking around the edge of the silo, but it's all okay. Yeah, I think the call to drop is you've got info on one rafters and one ramp. And I guess they know she's an A player. Yeah. It was a good move round. It was just scary. They went down the vent. Well, got stuck on the, the ladder, right? Yeah. That's what happened. I, I think, think they wanted to go into it, right? I think they wanted to go A, but as soon as they saw Victoria in heaven, they were like, nah, <laughs> no thank you. That was 30 HP on three players. It ends with just Margot and Mio surviving. But job's done. Job's uh, acquired for, for that round. I really like the decision for Ayaka just to remain passive. They were really anticipating that there was going to be aggression elsewhere and that they found it in almost every single instance. We still have these Frankenstein buys. Victoria's off, but then we've got two rifles and two MP9s. Lobby push? Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Even if you go for like the AWP, like an AWP and MP9, kind of pushing up through the radio, or yeah, I guess you can also get aggro through through HUD at the same time with the second MP9. Like Vilga's one of the MP9 uses, and she's playing outside. She's still going there. She I might get aggressive. I feel like what we saw on Vertigo CT was that Phyllis Cheetahs were getting aggressive to punish VP Angels. And obviously that's a comfort factor on Vertigo. And it's not going to be as familiar on Nuke. But I feel like that should still be the game plan that they try and enforce here. I'm going to be getting too aggressive. Great counter utility with the incendiary. That's slowed down this first poke onto A. See, VP Angels are threatening the execute. I think they are going to attempt it once more. That was just to bait out all that utility. Got to make a decision, though, with 50 seconds. 
Here we go. Another one and another smoke. On oh, shoot. They're just going to run through Hut. Shoe's fully blind. Flashbang's fantastic from Ayaka. And we're in the same result where it's a lot of low HP bars, but there's no kills at all for Fearless Cheaters. Ayaka even finds Victoria. Vilga, last player standing. So low on Margo. Half HP on Amora and Akianora. And Vilga can't find anything. Yeah, you know, for all of the, you know, strong individuals and fearless cheaters, this is a clear example of, you know, a team that is very comfortable in a map and a team that's not. Like, just yeah. the, the, it's it's so obvious that this is not a map that fearless cheaters feel anywhere near as comfortable playing on as, as any of the others that they regularly whip out. And CT side is always going to be that issue as well because it relies heavily on rotates and your communication's got to be pretty much on point. Starting to see some signs of struggle here. And it was the T side that NIP were exploiting round on round when they did play each other on nuke. They'll grow up close, trying to be a menace through these smokes. Oh, could push through. See Zayaka. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, they have to kind of turn to her. I thought maybe she had. It's all good. The spin comes in. Bomb spotted and will be salvaged. Paddy tries to play around and Victoria quite, can't quite pull off the Kiara. So we're going to see six from the T side, no doubt. So aware of any further pushes too. She was being held this entire time. This is just VP doing VP things. They love to just kill the pace out of a round and make sure that they can't get flanked. Make sure that they can't get overwhelmed. Especially with pistols, there's a lot of incentive for fearless cheaters to get aggressive. Which was punished or at the very at very least traded. What can Crassy find? Potentially Akianora outside. But even that's a bit difficult from her position, just tucked in underneath the silo. Holding the secret. It should be Akianora's kill. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Easy does it. Six on your two side, you're feeling fine. Money for days. Watch your oyster. Feel like she just finally get out a, a normal looking buy. Rifles for everybody. Victoria is being kept, you know, uh, humble, it feels, so far. The, I guess the most excitement was the scout round, where if she'd had the AWP, it would have been a, a massive highlight round, but she didn't, so it wasn't. <laughs> It's interesting that Victoria's playing on A site and she's not sort of like the heaven rotate. Obviously started to ramp a few rounds with it, but Bilga's being left to her own devices round on round outside. This one's a lot more passive. Smokes have missed as well. So there is leeway for her to find success. Yeah, it's painful because all of their players are kind of collected here. They have one smoke remaining. Tati has decided to have a little of a nosy on in towards lobby and has spotted nobody. So now they know there's certainly going to be a lot of bodies out here. Good jiggle from Shu. That's one spot of the AWP in the open. Really, cheaters have some information, although they didn't spot anyone else. But given you've got lobby control, it's pretty clear that there's going to be players either coming through main or on the B bomb site. Yeah, and more finds Tati, though. Filga will trade. So that's the, the deep lurk contended with. It's good that Crassy is down on B by herself. But VP Angels are faking this. And all the rotations are coming down to B when the bomb's going to go through main. Yes, it's perfect. It almost feels like the way that Fearless Cheetahs were treating VP on Vertigo <laughs> in terms of the, the T-sides, right? Like... Pulling all these rotations over. You over-rotate because you're panicked and you feel like you need these rounds and you just want to get ahead of it. It's the complete wrong move. And now you're definitely just wanting to save. 
if you're allowed to. A shot from Victoria. Okay, with that I'll one. I'll make you want to go. Yeah, that's enticed you. Oh, that's definitely enticed you. Virgo's got one. Flames are good onto the site. Overwhelmed. Aki and Nora's found a double. She's on top of the HUD and she's found all three. Aki and Nora with a massive multi denies the retake. Aki and Nora's been fantastic on T sides of just closing rounds. It feels like fearless cheaters. As soon as they get one kill, they're, they're inspired to go for more. And of course, they need to go for more on this CT side. But Aki and Nora with the multi kills is always sort of delivering and bailing VP Angels out of a situation in which fearless cheaters can retake. Second pause is now being called. No money yet again, really, for fearless cheaters. They've got the loss bonus, so that they can buy down a little bit. Scout can come out again for Victoria, but this is one-way traffic. This is a complete roll reversal of Vertigo, and it really does highlight what you said, the, the comfort versus the insecurity of playing a map that you've not really adventured into in many seasons of ESL Impact. Doesn't feel great if you're a fearless cheetahs fan right now. With overpasses the decider, so we're still a ways off it. EP are taking us there step by step. Pigeons, Brandon, have successfully taken down Astralis on map two. That was overpass. 2 0 win for Vilga's X squad. We're now 4 0 in the group means they are guaranteed at minimum to go through to the the playoff uh the play-in sorry to get to the playoffs but if they win their game versus guild next week they're straight to dallas it's a, it's a good result it's a comfortable one as well which will bode well for pigeons there we go can she find mio can she overwhelm yes she can so that's an AK that can be picked up from her teammates. I like that she's being proactive, not immediately picking up the rifle. Smoking off control room. They really want to disrupt this. Flashbang through the smoke. They're going to try and knock the players off, and they can't do it. And more at the double. Victoria and Shu, last player standing. Again, it feels like you desperately want to go for these rounds to try and grab something, but you can't. And Shu can't even find a rifle on the floor at ramp, so she'll be saving an MP9 and thinks better of it. She'd rather just die. Yeah. Or find someone that overextends and give you an AK, but that's full for a more. What the doors? Eight, two. Yeah, you've you've ever performed in this T side. Would you say it's no performance, or would you say it's about what we expect, given what we've seen out of Phyllis Cheetahs. Well, I expected more going into this map. I mean, I didn't know what to expect necessarily, but I expected... I still have high expectations for this team, I guess is yeah. the way to put it. Oh, oh. gun barrel spotted. Oh, does it Margin up? Moves. Oh. Thought it was going to be reversed for a moment, but it's all good. Taddy also... Cops are heavy beating, trying to support. Oh, this is this feels so desperate. I don't. I don't think you, you're not going to clear this, are you? No. These jiggers have been fantastic, by the way. Like, so good to get the AWP off the line. Yeah, I feel like Victoria's really been struggling to find any impact. Like, they, they seem so aware of any position she can be in. Crassy. Oh, okay, Crassy. Oh, gets one, two, two. Also, stepping in. It's on to Victoria. Talk about needing a moment, but it's not going to happen. She can't even get out of heaven. This has been a really good T side out of VP Angels because they, they've had a clear plan of what they wanted to achieve when it comes to map control in the early stages of these rounds. And once they've got it, they can pretty much just take the, the round anywhere. And I love how they can go from sort of a fast start 
to immediately just slowing the pace down. And then Fearless Cheetahs are scrambling, constantly looking for info, and they're just walking straight into headshots. It's been great to see. The maximum they can achieve right now on this CT side is three rounds. Three rounds on CT side nuke. And it might not even happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it hurts, doesn't it? And it feels like they're just forced to, to sit back and let VP Angels do what they want. Yeah. And they're just doing that. Every fight going their way. This is a team that's feeling like they're at home on Nuke. Look, it does catch me oh, trying to cross towards the garage and shoot one of her own. Limps away. But it's put into the three on three. Maybe achievable. Ayaka getting curious. Oh, <laughs> what? That feels unfair. And she is such low HP. Ayaka not even looking when she comes out hard. Still adjust for the shot. Vilger, it's all under her. Two for her already. Two more to find. A double up behind the silo. She has a Molotov if she wants to flush them. She's going to throw it. No kit. We should be ready to peek off this. She would have found kills for sure, but Ayaka around the edge, a third for her, and double digits for VP at the half dominance.
BP Angels completely punishing fearless cheaters by picking Nuke. They got 10 rounds. Yeah, that's right. 10 on the T side of Nuke. And now they're pretty much just a pistol away from sending us to overpass. Yeah. I, I think we're going to overpass no matter what. If fearless cheaters win this, then I don't know. I'll eat your hat. Why my hat? You're always threatening to eat your hat when things happen. Yeah, but that's... I don't want you to eat my hat. hat. <laughs> I have to eat my hat today. I don't want to eat it. Oh. Bill got good kill. Okay. To start. Look at shoe. They don't know. Ah, he's still not going to know. This is know quite even a harder now. Yeah, I mean, this is quite a powerful position to be in. Oh, Amor? I think he's actually supposed to run the Jiggle. Mm. No. No. I've lied. spotted her. Now she knows. Yeah, now they know. Wait. Mm. I'm not sure. What? I think the angle is too hard to see. I don't think it hugely matters. Still's gonna swing. Volga should be ready for this fight, but the Dolberet is can't be deadly. If the angels taking their time, Akinora falls. And more. Yeah, you're gonna get out. <laughs> Volga's just gonna shut the door on you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> oh no. I love the just the whole time, she just, the smile slowly oh. gets bigger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb, but it's so funny. <laughs> Could you get a replay package of her just shutting the door? Yeah, please, can you show it with her face? <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, well, even if they don't win the map, they've given us that moment. Will you start for the doolies? That's the top five play of the day. <laughs> oh, please. Yes. That's top one. I don't need to see any of the other regions. That, Put it that's in, top please. one play of the day. <laughs> just to get the, the North America gang just to watch that back. Like, what? Yeah, because they, they, they don't know what the top five are going to be until they yeah, watch them. Please. And then that's the number one. That's fantastic. <laughs> you could just label it as Vilga wins around pissed around on Nuke single handedly, and then it sounds like it's going to be super hype. Vilga locks out the A bomb site. And it's like, oh, <laughs> it's just a shutting door. Uh, we're talking over this eco because, hey, guess what? It's an eco uh, and nothing went disastrously. Zeus, no, not happening. Victoria picks it up. She'll keep it. No falls from VP. They wanted to play for this one. Slew of M4s, two M... M's, two MAC 10s mm. <laughs> in play, <laughs> uh, which means the, the lack of noggin protection, which is the official term for head armor, is, uh, is going to be maybe a problem, especially if they go with a bit of PACE. Find out what it means. Not to me. It's a fearless cheat. The fearless cheaters. I was drop just on, thinking that's so much my roof. head. Taddy. Oh. Nice shot, but Margaret and Akiyanora just litter the feed with headshots instead. And now you've got the two Mac 10s. Uh, Zeus is still in play. Important to note. I think it's actually been passed over to Krasi. No one cares. <laughs> it's not. It's not relevant. Here we go, and you're dead. All right, 
Yes, let's go to kill with the Mac 10. Is he still available? Stop it. <laughs> oh. Oh. I feel like I should maybe just stay and train in that position. Could have been a way in. Victoria stuck in the corner. Yo. Finds the kill. Ayaka gets the Zeus and VP Angels are on to 11. That was a really nice adjustment from Margo. And then Akinor was already starting secret, so just in case they crossed Margo, she's there to pick up the pieces, and that means the Fearless Cheaters don't have any space whatsoever. Mio going down to an MP9 to afford utility, but everyone else is doing well. AK's out in full force now for Fearless Cheaters, and you feel like they've got to win, well, not only basically all the rounds, but this one in particular. Otherwise, their money's gone and the game's probably gone as well. Outside, the play. Margot. Looking to see if anyone's going to push through this smoke. But it's just the cross. They'll walk close to it to avoid heaven and make their way down comfortably. Inora can rotate to support. Potentially help defend lower, but at the moment, no one's budging. Although I think with that heaven descent, that's going to imply someone's going to maybe come down B. Yeah, or Ayaka and Akinora can push into ramp instead they're just doubling up. VP Angels have got no idea that this has happened until that glass breaks and they hear the utility. Smoke might have gone off the mark a little. It's kind of landing in the middle. So there's definitely a world that the CTs can find a way in. Their positioning at the moment isn't great. You got to shoot on a late lurk. They're not even going for it. Yeah. Fair enough. You know you only need two rounds, so... No need to take the risks, I guess, in the five on five when you're you're kind of at the breaking point if you lose this one. I like the decision, actually. She already finds one kill. As long as she only finds one, BP Angels are fine. My hacker will run away and the bomb will leave. What? What? Uh, they die. I don't know. We were watching Ayaka. Where were they? They were all on full HP, right? Oh, that's a that's a blunder. That's that's horrendous. That's fearless cheaters back in the game. How did three of them die? I get one person. Guys, that's someone saying, "Hey, we're safe here," <laughs> and then. And they're not safe there. My bad, guys. Oh, no good way. damage. Oh my god. Huge not like this. This is pistols. Ayaka's got the AK. That's it. Everyone else has pistols. Not Default like this. pistols. No. Ayaka. If she pushes, she's in danger. Vilga's holding for a bush. That's so just ratty <laughs> from Shu. Yeah, Ayaka's dead. Oh, what? no, she's not. And she's still got the AK and they're low. Ayaka's making it possible, but she'd need the ace. And she's on her own. And she's been mollied. Yeah, as soon as her teammates fell, it got less exciting. If the, the threat of other players being alive was still present, would have been dangerous, but Fearless Cheaters just push into A. They find the players behind credit. Everything is okay. Six rounds to be established. Ayaka probably isn't going to live either. Right. Let's start talking game plans. The way to win this, if you're Fearless Cheaters, is you remove what didn't work on Vertigo. And that was these sort of late rounds, taking your time sort of mentality. If you're feeling unfamiliar on a map like Nuke and you're not feeling as comfortable, best thing to do, in my opinion, is just have five players just take a choke point. 
That way you, you're guaranteeing trades. And I feel like Fearless Cheaters, they've got the aim over VP Angels. So that's what I want to see. Just very simple Counter-Strike. Smoke's outside, everyone goes down. We saw that in the previous. Smoke's outside, everyone goes around. It can't be one player goes here, one player goes there. Everyone needs to be together for this to work. Got a double crawl outside. I wonder if they can try and wrap through main. Yeah, it they feels are. like that's the yeah, that's the plan. But Margo gets a whiff of it, gets ahead of it, gets a kill. And Mio has slipped into CT vents. Spots you. She picks up the AK. So they found all the opening kills they get hope for. I see two more to get that 12th round. Oh, Mio. Lights out on Degrassi. Victoria bomb on her back at least, but Ayaka in the back lines. Puts one through her spine, and that is 12 for VP. Yeah, right idea for Fearless Cheaters, but there wasn't any flashbangs going over the top of main. So they're just contacting, walking through smokes, trying to hit a time in. And, and where they landed, I mean, look, they didn't even, they didn't even go in, in the main entrance way. So it's just free, to be honest, for, for the outside players. Mio does really well to walk into CT vent. Or I guess T vent, because it's a closer one. Is able to prevent Phyllis Cheaters from scaling from Squeak. Final stand. Six rounds in a row needed. But the cheaters, otherwise, overpass waits in the wings. Let's try A again, I, I feel. Going off the first util. No flash. Not yet. Although it does come through. A more blinded gets one. Taddy has managed to break open the bomb site. Bomb's plan is denied. Philco is in mid sight. Margo lines it up, drops the bomb, and that's smoke. Okay, it is redeployed. Let's put it into a three on three and given time for VP to set up. Mm, yes and no. Akinora can come through heaven. Ayaka's got flashbangs to help support her. And they've got to go together. Flashbang through. Oh, First one hit Akinora, but Margo's also found a kill and fully blind. Shu capitalizes. Well, in fact, Shu doesn't capitalize at all. She's dead. Tati 1v2 would need every single kill and she can't do it. Only the four from her. There's that defuse locked in and that's VP Angels taking nuke. Yeah, it's a bit of a sad way to end it. I feel like they'd found a good way to get into the A bomb site. You know, uh, it was a 4v3. The... Bomb plant is just denied. <laughs> and then it's suddenly a three on three. You've got to waste precious time and a great retake again from VP Angels and a great nuke. We were very surprised to see this change in Fearless Cheetah's veto. Can't say I'm 100% convinced on it yet because that nuke was.